The biggest problem with Trump is that he's not focused on the future and he's not doing the things we need to do structurally to make our economy more competitive, to make our country more entrepreneurial, and to position people to succeed in that new economy that we all know is coming. Democrats can't win by just attacking Trump. We really have to show the American people there's a better way. We have to think about the future. America's gonna win by recognizing what's going on across our economy and in people's lives, and then focusing on what we can do collectively to make things better. That's the American way. John Delaney is a force of nature. He can tackle things no one else can tackle, and he can make progress on issues that other people get daunted by. John just simply doesn't have an equal in his ability to tackle hard things and make progress. People listen to John and they say, I can sign up for that plan. So on balance, global trade reshaped and improved our country and the world, but it didn't help everyone. And no one stood up to make sure entire communities weren't decimated and those hurt were helped. The backbone of our country, the people who built our nation and saved the world were tragically ignored. Now there's another big wave of global change happening. Technological innovation and automation are reshaping the economy and jobs. As a country, we need to step up and do the right thing this time. The Republican solution is to divest. Healthcare, training, education, that's a backwards approach. It's actually time to do the real things we need to do to grow our economy and wages in every part of our country. It's time for a new social contract that builds a cleaner, safer, stronger, and more just society. John grew up the son of a union electrician. Hard work, decent pay, health care, a pension. He understands what that means for a working family. It was a union scholarship that helped John afford college. In building two businesses from scratch, John succeeded by working with others, like his dad did on a job site. He builds teams, he's creative, and he's a problem solver. And he's always motivated by a set of progressive and ethical values. We worked with John back in 2004. The strategy was to, to grow ASG. It was a challenge for the larger banks to finance a company like ours. John's firm was one of the few that stepped up and gave us the credit facility that made sense to us. We went from 150 employees back in 2003 to over 1,000 employees today, and John Delaney helped fuel that growth. John's a progressive businessman. In building his companies, he always insisted on the highest of ethical standards. He treated people with respect, created jobs with good pay and benefits, and always was giving back to the community. The Obama administration awarded John's company the Bank Enterprise Award for investing in communities that so many banks underserve and ignore. That's classic John, always doing more. When I ran for Congress, I said back then, Let's stand up for workers instead of big companies and big banks. Let's invest in our country and its people. But Trump and the Republicans want to roll back laws that protect consumers and our economy. That's a huge mistake. But attacking banks won't win the day. We need to lay out a new approach to economic growth, income growth for the middle class, and security in the workplace. John Delaney has the skill and experience to resolve some of our country's biggest issues. John wrote a bill that deals with our $2 trillion repatriation issue and our ailing infrastructure, which is estimated to be a trillion dollar investment we need to make, all in one bill. It created tens of thousands of jobs, it was nonpartisan, and is very smart on a number of levels and has the support of a lot of members. Being a progressive means thinking about the future through the lens of people who work, who raise families, who want their kids to get ahead. Technology and our global interconnections will make life better in so many ways, but the disruption of jobs alone is a massive challenge, and the political system isn't stepping up to deal with it. This is bigger than politics and party. We need new ideas on the future of work in the context of this rapid technological change and these immense challenges set to unfold for our workers and our economy, and we need to bring our people our businesses and our government together to shape a future that is safe, secure, and prosperous. The time of fighting amongst ourselves must end. We need to work for the common good. Haven't we had enough destructive partisan wars where people put party over country? I've been blessed. Raised in a blue collar family where an honest day's work was honored and family was everything. Married for 27 years, an amazing woman, a 
the father of four wonderful daughters. What guy can complain about that? A successful businessman, lucky enough to be elected to Congress and able to serve incredible constituents from an amazingly diverse and beautiful state, giving me the chance to fight for the causes I believe in. And this I know beyond everything. This is not a nation where success is a birthright. It's earned. It's earned through hard work, and it's made possible by a commitment to a shared destiny, and then a set of policies that can and should make it possible. If we allow ourselves to be divided and we let our political debate deteriorate into an us versus them, we will all fall short. But if we take these challenges head on, the future is ours.